Oracles. Why study oracles? What are they? What mysteries of our own minds and of the universe and of our own conversation between us and our peers as we peer amid these oracles and try not to get hysterical, but to become hysterical, synchronistic events that frequently occur. And we begin to wonder how much of our own psychic energy is going into it as the way it comes up and also as the way we interpret it and the interaction between us and others and us and it and characterizing the nature of it and how it can and does speak to us in evolving further ways to attune to this random plandom chaos cause us process that we're always open to if we choose to the choice of using our voice even the silent voice within to torture us with an endless din or i'll kill you spectacular you have the choice and the oracle process can alter your inner voice and often generate an aha and a series of ahas that can turn into a ha 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 for it's laughter we're after to transcend any disaster by entrancing ourselves to see the path that we're on the object of the oracle is not to envision the future but to open up our minds to what has already transpired and is going on the past and the present give us the opportunity to make better choices the future is still up to us no matter what the oracle says we're not confined by oracles but we confide in them and we can find our own self mirroring from another perspective and we can decide that we are touching something divine when thunder rolls as you read about the I Ching in a clear sky talking about the thunder rolling it does give you pause to wonder is there something greater greater than us that made us a force an entity a consciousness a consciousness that maintains us even now and creates us and sends us creative inspiration a global consciousness a universal consciousness that manifests uniquely in each of us and in everything that we do and as we animate our world by shuffling a deck of cards or letting a computer spin at random or observing the way the planets moved during unusual events seeming as if some higher mind planned them we attune to this infinite consciousness by allowing signs and portents seemingly random events shuffles of cards fall of tea leaves animals in nature opening a book at random something catching your eye synchronicities people contacting a coincidence, a coinky dink. Is it God winking at us? Coinky dink? Can we just generate these coincidental vortexes and text it and see the context and understand that these coincidences are but a mere sliver of a greater interconnected network? Just as our eyes only see a tiny sliver of the electromagnetic spectrum that is so vast our minds are only seeing a sliver of a greater reality with all our senses and that there are people who have seen and do see and contact other realms so easily they can look into your body past present and future they can speak to angels there are miracles occurring and haven't been occurring for ever and as we use the ability to use these oracles, we often find something spectacular that will happen between us and the oracle and between us and the people around us and with nature itself and the wind. So as we climb into the fall of our autumn attic, writhing and writing, bring yourself your openness, your tarot decks, um, a computer, as many computers and laptops and um, smart devices. Each one can be 
seem to synchronize and we can have a whole audience of us and all the manifestations that the infinite can fit in and each of us can channel and automatic write and hypnotize and be hypnotized and see past lives and future probabilities and read the oracles the tarot the astrology the I Ching runes if you have them I've never played with them but um, anything else that you can think of and of course the electric fortune cookie and anyone's welcome to design their own electric fortune cookie www.askefc.com a random word generator with 6,500 words that I spent over a month selecting from an Oxford dictionary as a base vocabulary to communicate with the inner and outer, the infinite within and without us. By thinking of a question or typing it in and hitting ask, several words will be selected at random. What you type in merely appears on the next page so you can focus on it but has no effect on the randomness, which is selected from an invisible counter at the moment you hit ask. Whatever number is on there goes into another randomizer that selects the words. And so a friend asked, who or what is God? And the first word it picked was relations. And relations is what the oracles create for us. A relationship to ourself, a relationship to the infinite, a relationship to the oracle and to people around us and to nature and the next word was audience and god is watching god is entertained by us god split into the infinite variety of living things god is everything god loves us and is entertained by us and then she asked uh, the electric fortune cookie what or who is Satan? And the first word was mentor. So even your tormentor is your mentor. One who causes you to become enlightened through the process of your own experience. Making choices, deciding what to believe and what to let go of. And the second word of the electric fortune cookie for Satan was T-E-A-R, one of the great English paradox words that you can't tear yourself away from, but it tears you up to be torn with a poignant, emotionally charged idea that touches many of your heartstrings and creates a chord a chord, an agreement, a resonance, an internal persistence of emotion. And so Satan is the mentor who tears us and tears us. And then there's short phrases in the Electro Fortune Cookie, two or three words. Third and final selection was subject to. And so what we subject ourselves to and what we subject others to is our Satan. Say it again and again. Satan, say it again. Repetitive thinking, cyclical, degenerative thoughts that keep us trapped. Say it again and again. And breaking the spell of saying it again and again of Satan is Satanama. Say to no more. Satanama, S-A-T-A-N-A-M-A, an ancient kundalini opening resonance with the universe chant to enchant you, to give your voice the choice, your inner voice as well as the outer voice. The Satanama calls the dragon of what you've been dragging around and lets it disperse and lets you disperse as you reach silence. As you say it aloud for the physical body, Satanama. Whisper it for the emotional body, Satanama. And lip sync, 
for the spiritual body. A brilliant meditation. Saw is saw tall, saw by its saw. It's we see, we sense, it's the everything, the totality, sa. And then ta, ta da, ta is the individual birth, the, the singular consciousness that embodies all. Ta, the talk, the self talk. And na, na blocks off the nasal resonance, is the nothing, is the now, the end. And ma, ma, the mouth, head resonance, the mother, the more, the summation, and the silence at the end, after is the infinite peace and the new release and the realizations that never cease when you empty your mind of what you've been saying again and again and allow something new to take root and begin. So I hope to see you at the oracular spectacular Oracle Workshop at the Ahimsa House, 5007 Cedar Avenue. See you there. Your secret agent, 007, dialing you into the universal heaven, having it all, the past, the present, and if you tour the future, you stop the torture and you torture yourself with something new, the lessons lesson when you learn them and you earn them through expanding your mind, connecting with yourself, connecting with others, connecting with infinity, allowing the emptiness and allowing the filling, the feeling, the filaments that fill in between us, between all of us, the relations to audience each other and attune and attend to our divine depend, interdependence, declaration of interdependence, to interconnect, to appreciate, to refine and evolve what love can mean, resonating, responding, respecting, collecting, collecting the collective consciousness,